I'm in a quiet field right now, so I'm talking more quietly than usual. In this video, I want to share with you three practices that I'm currently working on that help me to live a happier life that is beneficial spiritually. And uh, I call it the ABCs of truly happy living. A stands for appreciation. And this is how much gratitude and awe can you bring into your life, into everything. Um, the ultimate level of appreciation is when you can see the good in even bad events, things that are not going well. Um, for example, I recently had to change a pair of contact lenses, and that new pair wasn't working as well as the old pair. I wasn't seeing as well. And for the first couple of hours that day, I was kind of internally complaining and, and saying, oh, why, why do I have to deal with this, and why can't this be, uh, I can't see as well. But then I realized something. That morning, before I put on that pair of contacts, uh, of course, without contacts, I, I can barely s not I can see, but not not as well as with contacts on. So even with that inferior pair of contacts, I was seeing a lot better than without any contacts on. And so I started appreciating, you know, even just closing my eyes for a moment and opening it and saying, "Wow, I can definitely see better than if I didn't have contacts on." And my whole day shifted. The rest of the day, even as I continued testing out this inferior pair of contacts, I was able to appreciate every time it came to mind and I opened my eyes again how wonderful it is that the miracle of being able to see with this technologies, you know, in my eyes, to be able to, you know, your contact lenses. So can you appreciate even the things that are not going well? There's so many things right now, you know, politically speaking, that uh, some people, you know, really, you know, myself included, don't think are going well. But can we appreciate the things in our life that are going well and then eventually bring our appreciation to that which isn't going well? Um, I want to add a word here, and the word is miracle. There, is, there are so many miracles that happen in your life that if you only were to understand how uh, amazing it is that you are able to do the things that you do and to live the life that you live, you would be, you would be in miraculous, you would be in gratitude of the miracles that are happening all the time. And so think about the miracle of just even being able to walk, if you can walk. All the functions in your body that have to coordinate in order for you to be able to do that. Think of the miracle of, this, of the modern society we live in, that I'm able to communicate this to you from wherever you are in the world as long as you have internet and able to watch this video. And you can do the same thing. And so appreciation is, is the first practice. That stands for A. <coughs> Excuse me. The second practice is beliefs. How are you proactively upgrading, managing, first of all, and then upgrading your beliefs? In other words, what are the, what's the content you're consuming? The articles that you're reading uh, are the videos you're watching, the articles you're reading, <coughs> the conversations you're having. Are they uplifting you and empowering you to live a more a happier life that allows you to contribute more uh, in service to others? Or... or is the content you're consuming, the articles you're reading, what videos you're watching, the conversations you're having, are they pulling you down into more anxiety and despair and negativity? I mean, that's so easy these days with our political climate, isn't it? So can we please, and no matter, no matter how bad things are, you can keep on managing your beliefs and upgrading them so that you can be empowered and positive uh, instead of anxious and depressed and spreading that to other people as well. So um, if, it is, if you can afford it, I highly recommend getting some coaching or some therapy to keep upgrading your, to keep noticing, managing, and then upgrading your beliefs. Um, at this time, I work with three different coaches on different areas of my you know, life and business, and it is incredibly helpful. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars, but um, if you can afford even a couple hundred bucks a month, uh, it can be really, really helpful to get some kind of professional service like coaching or therapy. Okay, and then the third practice, which is C, A was appreciation, B was belief, uh, beliefs, and then C is caring. How much caring can you bring into every action that you take in your life? I was watching a video of a woman who had had a near-death experience, and uh, she learned some profound spiritual lessons during that experience. And she said something that, uh, that I'll never forget. She says, 
she realized that at the end of our at the end of her life at least let me just say her life and i think this makes a lot of sense and perhaps true for for me as well at the end of her life what she will be what her life will be measured by is not how big of an impact she had in terms of the numbers of people she served or um you know the the amount of money she made and uh, the number of fans she has on Facebook or whatever. But what her her life will be measured by how much love she brought into her actions and her relationships. Even the smallest act, if she brought forth a great deal of love into that even smallest act, she the heavens would have been celebrating, the angels would have celebrated, and so. That's my encouragement to you, is to bring your caring to everything that you do. And as you do this practice of bringing caring to every step that you take, can you bring um, even a little, little bit of warm-heartedness to it? You know, every conversation you have, can you bring a little more kindness to it and caring for that person? And as you keep practicing this, eventually you could grow to the ultimate level of caring which is caring for those who are bad to you, those who have been mean to you, those who have um, uh, done you wrong, uh, those that you greatly disagree with, you think are harming the world, even caring, caring even to those people. And so there you go. I'm going to keep this, I'm going to end this video now. But the ABCs of truly happy living is A, appreciation, uh, B is continue to manage and B is beliefs so continue to manage and upgrade your beliefs and C is to bring as much caring as possible into everything you do so until the next video my name is George Cow wishing you appreciation uh, great beliefs and greater caring be well